Good morning. Uh, my opening statement is going to be pretty short. I want to make sure that I get to your questions. First, I want to let the fans know that I own this football team. You don't dismiss owners. I'm happy to take any questions you guys have. We're going to pass. We've got some mics being passed around. Matt Mayo, go first. Jed, when, when nothing had changed throughout the entire season as far as Trent Baalke, why did you retain him as general manager? Sorry, can you say that again? Why did you retain him as general manager? I own this football team. You don't dismiss owners. We've got Grant here at the left. Jed, <clears throat> why are you competent to lead a search for a general manager and possibly a head coach too? I own this football team. Jed, you dismissed your general manager and coach because they didn't reach certain uh, performance standards. <clears throat> That's part of it. Okay, let's stick to that part. Why shouldn't you be dismissed or reassigned for the same reasons? Look again, like nothing I'm going to say is going to be satisfactory. Say something. Well, nothing I'm going to say is going to be satisfactory. And again, we're going to be judged on what we do and what we accomplish. We haven't accomplished enough. I own this football team. You don't dismiss owners. I, I'm sorry that that's the facts and that's the case, but that's the fact. And I'm going to do everything that I can to get this right. We've got Tracy over there to the left in the second row. As you're building this and you bring in the coach and the GM, are, the things, are there things that you're planning to do differently to make sure we're not back here next year at this time, firing the fourth coach in the fourth year? Four years? Yeah. No. You got Mark in the front row? Yeah, Jed, since you, you're the guy going to make this call, um, I'm interested in what you think went wrong here since you have to make, you know, you, obviously you analyzed it. Yep. And now you're the guy going to figure. What, what do you think went wrong here? I own this football team. You just mentioned uh, 2005, uh, that, that year, you, you hired Mike Nolan, and then he, in turn, hired Scott McLuhan. Is that, is that a possibility for, for this go-around, where you have a, a strong head coach who uh, yeah, hires the personnel guy? We need to be open to the right structure with the right people. We need to get the right people. I own this football team. You don't dismiss owners. And it can't be... You know, I have the 53-man roster, and, you know, you need to go back to your office. And, like, we can't have that. Jed, given what's gone on since December 2014 and all the losses since 2014 and all the firings since December 2014, in retrospect, was it a mistake to fire Jim Harbaugh? No. Couldn't you just look back and say there's one place where you went wrong and you learned from that? Can you even say that? No. Jed, why did Chip have to call you about his job Saturday night? I called Chip. Yeah, what was that all about? There was a report that said that he was going to be let go. I let him know. You don't dismiss owners. I, I'm sorry that that's the facts and that's the case, but that's the fact. I let him know, Coach, I haven't made up my mind yet. I'd like to sit down with you at the end of the game on Sunday. You know, but we are where we are with a two-win team. Do you see a problem of why that's coming out Saturday night, why a lot of people think this is what's wrong with this organization? Sorry, can you say that again? A lot of people think this is what's wrong with this organization, the leaks coming out the night before. Do you understand and identify that as a problem? No. A year ago at this time, we asked you what you'd learned from all this, and you kind of just said, well, I basically want to stay off social media, is what you said. Is there anything more substantive or substantive that you've learned in this ensuing year? Well, I stayed off of KMBR, too. Is there anything more substantive or substantive that you've learned in this ensuing year? No. So Trent Baalke confirmed that he was fired on a Friday, and yet last night in the locker room, the players hadn't even heard that he had been fired yet. It seems somewhat dysfunctional. Can you explain the order of that happening? Yeah, I mean, I let Trent know. I own this football team. You don't dismiss owners. And, you know, Trent went out and said something after the game. I think the game had started or was about to start. I gave him the heads up before the game that we were going to let him go. And he knew that I was going to sit down and talk to Trent to, to chip at the end of the game. Nobody else has been let go. Um, talk to the coaches, talk to as many of the scouts, certainly, that are internal. Um, well, obviously, we have some scouts that are on the road that aren't in the building. Talk to football operations staff. And I let them know that I own this football team. You don't dismiss owners. I, I'm sorry that that's the facts and that's the case. 
but that's the fact. All right. Thank you.